The major hardware components of a computer are the processor, the memory, storage devices, and input and output devices. A processor is also called a CPU or central processing unit, runs the computer's programs. The CPU's main parts include the arithmetic logic unit and control unit. The CPU reads, decodes, and executes program instructions and performs operations by reading and writing data to and from memory. And when you turn your computer on, there's a program called the BIOS, the Basic Input Output System, that sets up the computer's basic hardware. The processor then executes another program called the Operating System, or OS, which allows users to concurrently run programs that interface with the computer's hardware. Main memory, also called RAM or random access memory, contains currently running programs and data that's used by those programs. RAM is divided into units called bytes. A byte is 8 bits of ones and zeros. Each byte in memory is assigned a unique number called an address. And RAM is volatile, which means if you turn your computer off, its contents are erased. For example, if you were writing your Java program, and you wrote this giant Java program that was perfect, but you've never clicked save and your computer crashed for whatever reason. It was all in memory, it was all in the RAM, and then you lost all that data, and you'd have to rewrite your entire program when you turned the computer back on. A processor spends much of its time moving data between memory and storage, and a common way to make computers faster is to increase the amount of RAM that it has. A storage device, also called a disk or hard drive, is a computer hardware that's capable of storing data. It's non-volatile, which means that you can store the data for a long period of time on this device. So once you write your Java program and you click that save button, it's going to store it on your hard, hard drive of your computer or a USB drive or whatever device that you decided to save your program on. Common storage devices include disk drives, solid state hard drives, USB drives, external drives, or even CD or DVDs. Another type of computer hardware are I.O. devices or input-output devices. Input devices collect data from the outside world. Common input devices include keyboards, mouse, digital camera, or a scanner. It's any kind of physical hardware device that could that could send input into your computer. For example, you typing on the keyboard or moving the mouse is going to send data from that device to your computer or into your program. A digital camera is where you can upload photos to your computer, or a scanner is where you can scan documents to, your, to, your, to the programs on your computer, and all of it is going into your program as input. And output devices send data to the outside world. For example, a printer or a monitor. When you're printing something out, it's going to the outside world. It's going from your program on your computer to the printer or to your monitor to be displayed or wherever it is that you want to send that data. Some devices such as disk drives and touchscreen monitors perform both input and output and they're called I.O. devices, meaning that on a touchscreen, data is going into your program by you touching on the screen and those touches are input and then it's displaying it right back to you and showing you the output of of what you did by touching on the screen. And a disk drive basically means that you can store data on a, on a USB drive, for example, and read data right back from that same USB drive. So it functions as both input and output.